Hello friend, welcome to my video. In this video, you will learn how to set up remote access to your network using WireGuard on PFSense. First installing the WireGuard package. After the package has been installed there will be a new sub menu in the VPN menu. In the top menu, go to VPN and then select WireGuard. Next, we will select settings. You need to enable the WireGuard service. Next, we will select Add Tunnel. Listen port, 51820. Interface keys, to establish a connection, you will need to generate a key pair. Note down the interface public key as it will be needed after. Address, this will be the address of your tunnel interface. For example, let's use 10.0.1.1 slash 24. Make sure the range you pick does not overlap with others you already defined. We now need to configure the interface itself and the firewall so that the traffic is allowed in the first place. Go in interfaces assignments and add your wire guard interface. You set the IP address for this interface. Next, we need to open up the listen port picked above on our WAN interface. Go in firewall rules and select your WAN interface. It will look like above. To note, the destination port will be 51820. Now, we need to add a rule in our VPN interface. This is to allow the traffic from the WireGuard network to reach what is needed. We now need to configure your device that will be connecting to our wire guard tunnel as a peer. For example, a Windows PC. Open the wire guard GUI and click on add tunnel dash add empty tunnel. The software automatically creates the public and private key pair and displays it on the screen. You get public key information for the purpose of setting up on PSENSE. We then add a peer. You select the tunnel you just created in the previous step from the drop down list menu. Public key, public key of the Windows client. Allowed IPS, to route all traffic to the wire guard tunnel when active, set this to 0.0.0.0/0. On the Windows side, you need to insert the following configuration. Listen port, 51820. Address, IP address of this client. It must be unique among all clients. Public key, public key of the PFSense. Allow edips specifies what IP addresses should be routed over the VPN. 
0.0.0.0 is a catch-all configuration and routes everything over the VPN. Endpoint, external IP address of the server and listening port. Listen port is 51,820. You should now be able to activate the VPN connection. Click on activate. We should be connected to our wire guard tunnel and able to access all our your network from afar. As always, if you found this post useful, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me 500,000 subscribers.